What's going on, everybody? My name is Broken Games HDR, and I'm not going to say I'm a prophet, but once again, I was right. I'm going to ask all of you again, when are people going to start listening to me when I speak? How much does it take? How many things do I have to get right to finally get some respect around here? When are people going to understand I'm not just flapping my gums. I know what I'm talking about. People are always like, oh, BG got all these hot takes. He's just throwing random things out there. No, my takes are only hot to the uninitiated. My takes are only hot and outrageous to, to those without vision, those without foresight. See, those that have the wisdom and the understanding know that the things I say make perfect sense. Everything I say makes perfect sense. Some of you just don't have the visual prowess to see it. So I can't necessarily blame some of you, right? You, you just, you just don't got it. You're just not there. You're just not seasoned enough, right? See, I'm a vet. And as a vet, I got some experience to see things, you know, coming a mile away that some of you wouldn't see if it was an inch in front of you. That's all. So next time you think BG got hot takes, no. Next time you need to think, hmm, maybe I just can't see the vision. Maybe you're blinded. Maybe your eyesight just think 2020. Anyway, enough tooting my own horn. Let me get to the to the topic. So, Starfield and Redfall has been delayed out of 2022. Into early 2023, the Bethesda Twitter account released a an official uh, statement. I'm gonna read it. It says, we've made the decision to delay the launches of Redf Redfall and Starfield to the first half of 2023. The teams at Arcane Austin, which make Redfall, and the Bethesda Game Studios that make Starfield have incredible ambitions for their games, and we want to ensure that you receive the best, most polished versions of them. We want to thank everyone for their excitement for Redfall and Starfield. That energy is a huge part of what inspires all of us every day and drives our own excitement for what we are creating. We can't wait to share the first deep dive into the gameplay for both Redfall and Starfield soon. Thank you for your support. So let me just make one thing clear. This isn't necessarily about the game being delayed. Games get delayed. I don't knock a game for being delayed. PlayStation games get delayed all the time. That isn't necessarily the issue, but the circumstances surrounding this are honestly the bigger, the bigger issue. The fact that, correct me if I'm wrong, Xbox, as a result of this, is not releasing not one first party game in the entirety of 2022. I know they got some second party partnerships and stuff like that, but not one first party game. Am I missing one? Because here's, here's the thing. Every, every publisher, right, let's talk about Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox right now, has down years where the games they released may not be, you know, the, the major bangers, you know, the, the biggest hits, but they might have some maybe a double A game, some, you know, just average triple uh, A game, something like that, you know, nothing that's going to like, you know, get the people going, but something to like, something to suffice, something to hold people off. I can't remember the last time, and I'm, I've been doing this, I've been gaming for a very long time, and I've been on uh, you know, YouTube talking about video games for a very long time. I can't remember the last time a one of these publishers didn't release not one first party game in a year. Now, usually a down year is like one, maybe two games from first party. None? When has that ever happened that they release nothing? and I'm not, and I know all of these studios that Microsoft bought, they're all getting ready. They're all gearing up. You know, they're all preparing to release these bangers, probably 2023, 2024. But it doesn't, it doesn't look good that you have 
I forgot how many studios at this point. I really can't remember how many studios does Xbox have? I don't know, 40, 50, I don't know. I'm just throwing numbers out there. They have a lot, that's the point, right? It doesn't look good for you to have all those studios. You go on this acquisition spree. For, when did the acquisition spree start? Like 2017? You go on an acquisition spree by buying up everything in sight, major publishers, a bunch of developers, and you find yourself in a year with not one first party release? Oh, nah. That, listen, whew, that don't, I'm just saying that don't look good. It, like I said, it's not necessarily, not necessarily the delay, but the optics are bad. Shout out to the, pers to the persona. The optics on this, bad, okay? And then y'all gotta remember, first of all, it, it, I saw this coming from a mile away because it, the, the, the size and scope and what they said this game is, and y'all thought that they were just gonna show gameplay when and then release it in the same year, not, in, not for this scope, of a game that they claim for what they claim this is going to be. And I know people point out, oh, but but look at the rollout. Look how they rolled out uh, Doom or Fallout 4 or whatever game it was. They they uh, uh, showed gameplay in June and then released it in, in the fall. They fooled y'all with that format. And then y'all thought that was just going to be the status quo, quo of how everything is. We tried to tell y'all. and but, but people were just jumping out the window. You couldn't, you couldn't tell... These Starfield fans and these Xbox fans, nothing. You can't tell them nothing. Starfield is gonna be the greatest game ever. You didn't even see gameplay yet. And we told them, listen, relax, pipe it down a little bit, calm down. This game might even might not even come out this year. And when it comes out, you, you haven't even seen gameplay, but you're calling it, it's gonna be this groundbreaking thing, the best game ever and all this stuff. Relax. You can be excited, but tone it down a little bit because this is, I, I told people so many times, this backfires. I've seen this backfire countless times. And it's, and look what's happening. Now you, you, you went from saying that Starfield is going to be the one of the greatest games ever made. It's gonna be this amazing banger to not having no games at all in 2022. Not one. And remember, I was attacked viciously just by rabid Starfield and Xbox fans, because I was saying, I w remember when Bethesda was putting up all these posts at, at them at a round table, uh, you know, Todd Howard and Pete Hines, whatever these dudes' names are, and they were just at a circle in a, you know, at some circular table, like the like the knights of the round table, thinking like niggas is King Arthur and and Sir Galahad and all this stuff, and they had their swords with them, talking about Starfield and saying all this good stuff about Starfield, like yeah, like a developer is gonna say anything else, and people thought like no, this is fine, there, I don't see any problem here. The game only releases this year and we haven't seen gameplay. I was attacked for saying that we don't want to see this. Stop showing us game, stop showing us concept art in 2022 when the game releases in 2022. Concept art is for developers. It's not for gamers. It doesn't do anything for gamers. What happened? I was attacked. They tried to get me out of here for this, bro. For saying that concept art is not what we want and not what we want to see. They, go look on Twitter. Go, go. I, I, I'm going I'm to retweet the post. You can go find it. They, they was trying to take my head off for that. For demanding some actual gameplay. Now look at you. Now look at you. Bet you wish you had some gameplay now at least. Now you, now you don't got no game in 2022 and you still don't got no gameplay. Okay, it's coming in June, cool. Once again, the games get delayed. I'm not even sure God of War is gonna come out at, at this point. But, but at least I ain't like jumping out the window. That, that's the whole thing, that's the whole thing about it, man. I'm not jumping out the window. The, let, let people be excited, BG, let people be happy. All right, you happy now? You happy now? That, that's what I want to know. Are you happy now? Let people be happy. Stop, stop raining on that. I, I tried to save you. I tried to help you out. Now look at you. Now look. You more depressed than, than before. I was, I, I was trying to save you and you didn't realize it.
<laughs> now look at you, just mad, sad, upset, depressed, no Starfield, no Redfall. Oh, word? Who told you that was gonna happen? Shoulda listened to BG. Oh man, I, I... But you, you hyped and you hyped and you hyped, you nonstop. No gameplay, no, no nothing. Just concept art and 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 talking, just running their mouth. That's that's all it was. And it, it was very obvious. Like there's it just didn't make sense. The timeline just didn't make sense for this game to come out in November 2022. It just didn't make sense. And I think anybody with a with, with a brain could have seen that. But that's the thing. A lot of you people get too blinded for your hype for a game that you that I'm like, do y'all really understand game development? The like the red flags were there, the signs were there that this game was not coming out this year. The signs were there. But no, y'all think game development is this magical and and you know, just fairy tale Peter Pan process. Like look, look at look at the dates when they said they fully started development. L look look at the, the the signs all around it. Like, but no, it's it's just gonna magically you know be ready in November of 2022. At at the at the least, it was gonna get delayed till December. <sighs> Listen, man. I I I was I can't believe how they just viciously attacked me when I was just trying to speak facts. I was trying to help them out. I was trying to tell them the truth, you know. But it is what it is, man. Um, <laughs> it's funny. Today is going to be a very entertaining day. It's going to be a very entertaining week. It's going to be a long, it's going to be a long year because it would be different if, for example, they, they got this news sometime like let's say i don't know september now you know you literally know for the rest of the seven months that exist in 2022 there is not one game first party game release that's you literally just have to look at that you have to look at these seven months and realize you're not getting nothing wouldn't it be so bad if you didn't hype this game to death and that's what I be talking about, the window jumpers. I, 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 to, I, I spoke about this for, for like months, bro. And I told people, this is why you, this is why I, uh, until I see gameplay of something, I don't, I don't believe what y'all be talking about. These developers going, they going to put dates. They going to run their mouth, bro. That's what they going to do. They going to say what we're making is the, especially when they brag about what they're doing is so revolutionary. Oh yeah. I definitely don't trust no release date. I definitely don't trust it now. But, you know, I, I, I was a hater. You know, they call you a pony and only. <laughs> All right, bro. You got it. You right. I'm a hater. My bad. Let me let me fall back. Let me fall back, dog. I'm tripping. I'm wilding right now. Um, It's, it's sad. I think I had some other points. I, I honestly can't even can't even remember them. Um, but it, it's there's a whole like there's like this whole uh, like chronicle in my head of all the things that led up to this delay. So many things that Xbox fans have said about this, and um, all so many claims. <laughs> They're just running out of my head. Like I. I I have some things saved. I have receipts saved in my phone. I know that for a fact that I have some receipts in my phone, and and I'm and I'm, I'm gonna whip them out. I'm going to whip them out, okay? Because the who, buddy? Who, buddy? Once again, nothing wrong with if if listen if delays make the game better, go ahead and delay it. Really, this is the fans' faults, the the fans and the window jumpers, bro. It's y'all fault because even if y'all said, okay, you know, we excited for this game, but y'all didn't hype it up. Like it was going to be the best thing since pants with pockets. Y'all, y'all was acting like this is going to be the bees, knees, arms, and legs. Like, bro, it maybe it wouldn't be so bad, but now it's bad for y'all out here.
It's bad for y'all. Y'all gotta be, y'all gotta relax, man. Y'all gotta tone it down sometimes, bro. Now look at you. I, and I said it so many, like I'm looking at my tweets. I got so many tweets of saying, I don't think this, this game is gonna come out this year. I've said it in uh, multiple Weapon Will episodes, multiple videos, multiple Twitter spaces. I don't think this game coming out this year, bro. I'm pretty sure it's not. Like I was, I would have put money on it. I'm, didn't Bond have a bet with Smooth? Listen, man, it's, it's time for me to get out of here. I'm just rambling at this point. Just know BG was right. Maybe this will be the time that, uh, you know, y'all start listening to me. Um, and uh, they, they called me a madman. It's me they're always calling a madman. So, uh, yeah. I will uh, check y'all on the next video. Um, Weapon Wheel Podcast is this sunday definitely and uh it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one man um it's gonna be a good one who man who buddy yeah i'm out peace